Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 15 of the September League Code Day Challenge. <clears throat> Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Doing this one a little bit late because I was doing the contest. Um, yeah, uh, so that, I, I went eight easy miles to two contests today. I, it's been a very long day. So let's, let's, uh, let's play around with this one. Let's get started and let's play around. Uh, yeah. Today we have 1371. Find the longest substring containing rows in even counts. Alright, what does that even mean? Given the string as we turn the size of the longest substring containing each row in an even number of times. Okay. Hmm. And N is pretty big. Uh, my first thought is maybe sliding window, but I don't even think that's quite it. Um, because The thing is, the reason why I don't think this is sliding window is because um yeah because it's not monotonic right um because you can add and remove so part of your your window could be forced so there's no invariant that you can abuse right um yeah so that's basically the first idea so here that and um we really have a thing where we have to keep track of bit masks is the way that I would think about it. Okay, so I'm going to do a very quick intro in bit masks. Um, the idea behind bit mask is really not that uh, hard, right? Um, in concept. So I'm going to actually not by, I'm going to try to teach bit mask by not using bit mask. Okay, so let's say we have AEIOU, AEIOU. Uh, that's those are the rows, right? So then now maybe we have a used array, right? So used array, we have force times five for each of these things. Um, yeah, something like that, right? So then now we have. So basically, what we want to do for this problem is that it's uh, it's a prefix sum problem, right? That, that's how I want to say. It. Uh, and let me draw it out real quick, right? Uh, for y'all at home, hang on. Have to click some buttons. But yeah, but basically, all right. So let's say you have some, and I'm just gonna skip the consonants because it's not that interesting. Or maybe I'll add in one or two. But let's say you have A B A A C D whatever. I guess it doesn't really matter. So then uh, E A E or something like this, uh, and then I right. So the thing is that okay. So the idea here is using prefix sum. There are a couple of ways you can think about this, but prefix sum is the easiest for me to describe. Um, not going to go over prefix sum in too much details today. Um, I kind of went over it either yesterday or the day before. So if you did the XOR prefix sum problem, definitely check out that video uh, again. But the idea here is that, okay, let's say we're, we're adding, we're counting the number, number of A's and number of uh, every value, right? A, E, I, O, U, right? So then let's say we go from here. Uh, from this index to this index, um, then now we have one A. Again, we 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 don't care about the B. So at here it's going to be two A, but we can even say, but we can actually flip this right. Uh, instead of one A or two uh, A, we can say there there is an odd number of A and then even number of A's. I don't actually know how to represent this. Hmm. So uh, even, how do you say even? How do you like just draw even? Uh, huh. It's okay, whatever. I'll just write odd and even, right? Uh, and then here it becomes odd again, right? So then now, uh, and then here it becomes, it, there's still odd A, uh, and now there's also an odd E, right? Here it becomes only an odd E, right? And an even A if you want to write it out. And then the idea here is that, okay, let's say we are at this stage. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's say it's here, right? With this stage where we have an odd A. Well, how can we calculate a substring that, um, like what is a substring that ha that ends here will give us even A's? Well, it, it means that we have to basically... Hmm, did I do this wrong? Odd A, even A, yeah, no, this is... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So this means that basically... Um, 
if we want even number of a's, we have to subtract a, right? So that means that in this prefix, in this prefix, there are number of a's. So then, but this is the first time there is a odd a. So that if we remove this a, then we have this longest substring, uh, this one, that contains the answer, right? Because if we have an odd number of a, we subtract an odd number of a, then um, then you get given number of a, right? And in terms of prefix sum, what I would mean is that it is just the sum of all of these minus the sum, the prefix sum of the first time you see the odd a to maximize this length, right? So that means that we want to keep track of the first time that we've seen everything uh, or uh, uh, a certain parity to every um, character and then uh, as we come across it because we're trying to maximize the length the earliest will give us the the biggest delta and that's pretty much it right that's the idea for this one okay and there is bit mask and wealth but but that builds off this idea of prefix sum Okay, so here again, I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna try to do bit mask in a way that is maybe not usually taught, um, but but um, but yeah, uh, maybe I have a function to convert to bit mask, right? And yeah, and then we have a, an array, which is going to be a version of this array. And here, you know, uh, what is this array, right? So array is going to have five elements of true force, right? So you could have force, true, I don't know, I'm just writing an example. True, 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 maybe, right? Something like that. Um, or maybe, you know, and I'm just being lazy, F do 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 do, right? Uh, keeping in mind that these things are, of course, binary, so we can convert them in a very straightforward way. And what I mean by that is that now um, we can convert a force to be zero, a true to be one, 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 right? And now this, you have an array of zeros and ones. And now you convert them into a number by looking at like, oh, wait, these, this, we have an array of numbers, uh, an array of zeros and ones, we could combine them into one number. And that's really basically the idea behind a bit mask. Um, and everything else is just going to be um, from that idea, right? So then here we can maybe have, and the way that you build this binary number is by shift and add. You multiply by two and then you add. So here we have maybe r is equal to zero for x in array. If x, meaning if it's true, then r we increment by one. I, uh, it's shift and add, so I didn't do the shift part yet. <laughs> And then at the end, we return R, right? So that's basically the convert to bit mask part. And here, then now, as we want to say, I have a lookup table. And as because as we said, if it's the first time we want to see something, uh, we want to always keep track of the first time we want to say see something uh, with this thing. And also, uh, an empty string is going to be used of... Everything is parity of even, which is, means that is false, right? So maybe this another way of phrasing this is, is odd, right? So that if it's false, then it's even. So okay. So then now in the beginning, we want to say lookup of um, convert to bit mask of is odd uh, is equal to um, zero for the index. So because it's the thing before the index, right? So then now we have for i and range of uh, for i, uh, maybe x and enumerate s, right? Uh, then now we can say, okay, if x is in a e i o u or in v, then the index, uh, the index is going to be let's say v of, what's it called? V of find of x, right? And then now we want to say is odd of index is equal to not is odd, right? Because basically what this does is it flips it. If it's even, then it is now odd. If it's odd, then now it's even, right? And then now we want to check. So then now the, the bit mask, the mask is equal to 
uh, convert to bitmask of this is art function. And then now we want to see if we have seen it yet, right? So if mask is in lookup, then 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 lookup sub mask uh, contains the first index, which is true. So then that means that i minus this will be a possible answer. And we just want to see if it's longest. So we have a best. So to see if it's longest, we do best is you go to max best. Um, technically, it should be i plus one. So yeah, I think. Maybe I'm off by one here, but that's the idea. Uh, otherwise, if it's not in there, then we want to update lookup mask to i plus one. Yeah. Um, keeping in mind that because we used zero for the thing before uh, the the first node, I want to make sure that am I there? okay. Sometimes I leave the drawing on the screen by accident. That's why. Um, but yeah, but that's pretty much it, really. Then now we just do a return best, and that's it. Uh, maybe I'm off by a lot, apparently. <laughs> uh, okay, I was going to say that this only changes... I thought that it, this only changes when we get, a, we get a thing, but I suppose it actually is not true. So yeah, we should do a check here. So I mean, that's basically really... Um, yeah. That's the only thing that needed to change. I thought that you only, I mean, the state changes, but you can add more characters, which is why this converts the best. I guess that makes sense. That was just sloppiness on my part, honestly. Yeah, let's go with submit. Uh, it looks good. So that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so you can see that, um, how, what did I do last time? Yeah, okay, I used to, I don't know what I was doing there. Okay, fine. Um, that, that's a crazy solution, actually. Uh, and pre-pandemic, too. I think I was in either Thailand or Laos at that time. So I was doing my... Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much the idea. See that? Um, so the, the why do we use a bitmask? There are really only one or two reasons. One is that it's just uh, so that you can put it in a lookup table or an array or something like that, and it's fine, right? Because it's it's a number. So you can put it in a way. Um, the second thing is just that it is also space efficient because now for eight things, instead of having, uh, I mean, this is only five, but you compress it into one number. In, uh, and in fact, um, if you're using a long, um, you compress 64 numbers in, or 64 binary bits into it, which is, you know, into one thing. So be, in theory, it's like 64 times faster. There are, you know, other constant costs, but, but that's the idea, right? So th those are the, the things. So don't be intimidated by bitmask, but that's basically the idea. Um, you can also use that. Did I do that last time? No. But you could also, like, for example, you could use, like, a frozen array or something like this to, to do this for, um, so that it's look up or something. But, but yeah, but definitely use this opportunity to f familiar, uh, uh, familiarize yourself with bitmask. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um... Yeah, that's all I have for this one. <laughs> let me know what you think. Thanks so much. Oh, let me go with complexity. I guess I didn't go with complexity. So this is linear time because it's a loop for the array. Um, this thing is, uh, not this thing, but uh, oh, this thing, the convert to mask thing is always going to be, um, sorry, I, I'm like, half sneezing but uh, this is always going to be over five because we only have five things in the way so yeah so it's fine fine right so yeah uh and in terms of space we um this is actually not linear space keep in mind that the number of unique bit, bit mask is only two to the fifth or 32 i think so yeah it's let's say two to the v where that v is the number of values uh of space but yeah that's all I have with this one, though. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, do your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.